Jamie Arute here from Training for Survival. So this next video comes to us from Los Angeles, California. Let's take a look at this video of these two walking to their vehicle. And if you look to your left of your screen, you're gonna notice the suspect come around that fence line. Puts them at gunpoint. Now, uh, a couple things to note here is the flashing of the phone. I'm not sure exactly what that is, if that maybe is some type of uh, security app that was downloaded, it's supposed to make the, uh, the screen flash, maybe ring some type of siren or something. That's kind of what it looked like to me. Uh, I can't be sure, uh, but uh, if it was, it obviously did absolutely nothing in this situation uh, for that individual, and uh, no one seems to be coming to help them either. Uh, he pats them both down uh, and uh, checks their pockets. Goes over to the female, takes the bag off of her. Says a few words to her, makes her lay down on the ground, removes her jacket and uh, throws a jacket toward her head and then calmly takes off. So a couple of things I'd like to go over in this video. One is as we're walking out to the vehicle, uh, obviously pre-frame here, I don't, uh, we don't know what happened, but as we're walking from here forward, you could see there's absolutely no situational awareness at all. He puts his arm around her, looks like he leans in, gives her a kiss, and he's on his way. But this suspect obviously knew they were not paying attention whatsoever and he comes running in, puts him at gunpoint. Now here's where you see that flashing, and that leads me to believe that it's some type of uh, app or something that uh, she's using, uh, whether it's a, uh, a siren or just flashing the screen or flashing the screen and a siren. I'm not sure there's many different apps uh, that are out there, but obviously it didn't phase uh, this criminal one bit, and they usually don't, to be honest with you. Um, as we move forward here, puts them both at gunpoint, takes the cell phones, searches them. This guy right here that he's searching just stays in that turtle position the whole time. He doesn't even lift his head or look over to see what's happening with the female. Then he ends up taking her coat off, making her lay down, and he uh, throws a jacket on her, on her head and then makes his uh, way off. So. Um, lots to be learned here. Biggest thing is situational awareness, being aware of your surroundings at all times. If you were to start walking to your vehicle and you saw this person uh, looking around the uh, fence line, uh, either A, maybe turn around, go back into the establishment where you came from, uh, stay in public eye. Maybe the suspect wouldn't even have gotten involved and tried to rob them uh, if they had better situational awareness. If they had uh, looked over in his direction and, and uh, made this uh, criminal realize that they were aware of their surroundings and that somebody was standing there. Uh, anyway, let me know what you would have done in this uh, circumstance. Also curious, what would you have done if you witnessed this happening? Uh, would you have gotten involved? Would you have just been a really good witness and uh, got a good description of the individual and called 911 and start getting a police response? Let me know in the comments. I love reading those comments and uh, I'll see you in the next video.